Hello beautiful souls, good morning, I hope you're doing good. Today I want to talk, I want to tell you a story, I share a story with you how I spot a agent in Sedona, Arizona. As many as you know, I live in Phoenix, Arizona and about two hours there is the city of Sedona. Sedona, it is a mystical place that you can go and benefits for the, from the energy. It comes from Earth. They call vortex. So a lot of mystical people go there. A lot of spiritual people go there because they're actually, uh, it's, it's a beautiful place to be there. And, and it's one of my favorite place on Earth to live. Uh, uh, Sedona is a beautiful, mystical place. So. I, everything happens, this story happens when I saw on Instagram a, an ad that it was about meditation, about a group of medita med meditation or meditators. They were about to have a camping on Sedona and they only charge the one dinner. So it, we, they will be having ice bathing. It, it was about donate, donation, actually. It wasn't actually free, but it was. It will start the camping from Friday to Sunday morning. So when I get there on Friday night, they have a circle um, with a with the Indian Native American and another and the host and the host was was American. And when I get there, everything was okay. He they 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 say hi to me, they introduce themselves and I feel and I feel comfortable. I felt part of the group, you know. And so we decide to go to the river that it was closed there and when I go next time, I will show you. It's a beautiful, it's called Angel Valley. So we camp on Angel Valley and they have a Lemurian, Lemurian a healing, center, healing center from Lemuria. It's beautiful there. It's a beautiful energy. So I decide to go with them at the river and then at night, uh, we decided to go on a hike on the on the night. It was it was around eleven or twelve, and somebody said, "Hey, it's a good time to go to hike." I'm going to introduce you to Mimi. Hi, Mimi. Oh, you're so cute, Mimi. Go, go play then. Go play, go play. And then, um, uh, we were for for person. It was another lady and the the teacher, the in, uh, the Native American guy. I'm not going to say names because for a uh, privacy purpose. And and then the next day, it was Saturday night. The girl that I met, it was a, a woman actually. And she said, she was an oracle when we were hiking. She's like, because I asked, she asked me, people most of the time ask me what I do for a living. And it's like, for me, it's not important what you do for a living. For me, it's more important uh, how is your day going? How are you feeling today? If I can help with something, no, just take a bunch of you. Like, what do you do for a living? How much money do you make? It's like when people come with those questions, I. I don't like it, okay? <laughs> I don't trust people when and instead of asking you how are you, they ask you you they ask you how much what do you do for a living? It's like it's more important what you do, what how much money you make than actually your person your 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 personality or you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> so I get an and a hike at night that lady said that she was an oracle and I started screaming because I am an oracle and I never met an oracle in person before. 
because I just recently find out that I was an oracle like months ago and I was you know when you find somebody that is you know in your sight or doing things that you like you will feel like more connected with that person right so the next day uh, she said that there was a rape on Sedona going on that if we want to go and they charge $20 so she invited me and I'm not into that dance, into spending money on those things. You know, I spend my mom wisely. And maybe that $25, I can buy a sandwich the next day or a coffee or clothes, you know, because I like to buy like second, second, second hand. Like I go to the thrift store. And I use, I pay the money. I actually pay twenty five dollars. And the guy, he was uh, we met there in the in the rave, and I felt something like it's not for me. So I went outside uh, from the nightclub. It was a sushi place in the basement, so it was kind of cool. But it was a lot of mystic people, like but with a awful vibe like I don't want to be there so I I get out of there and I wait outside you know like I'm I'm outside of my place right now I sit down on a on on a bench you know outside and then I saw the agent coming I didn't know he was an agent of course but I just I was observing just being there like I was asking myself what I'm doing here, what I'm doing in that place. Like, I don't want to be there. And I and I accept to go because that lady was so annoying. Like, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. And I say, you know, finally, I, I go with you. I, I be your companion, you know. And and I saw the agent come in, a, in like a scooter, like very, like zero waste person, you know. Like, it was in the scooter, it, it comes in front of my eyes, like, and he parked over here in front of me, and then he decided to park over there. It was the first time that I saw this guy. And, you know, most of people who live in Sedona are rich people, because a regular people, it has to work. And that guy owns a property, like two properties. Well, it wasn't a big deal. Uh, we talk a little bit. The, um, the people who from the camping, they, they know this person. So it was okay. So months after, like two or three months after, I decided to go to Sedona again by myself. I think it was my first trip alone or no. No, it was, it was not the first, the first that I sleep alone but I I decide to go and at the I stay three days and the last day I I stop in a in a cafeteria like it, it, the one is in the middle of the in the forest it's in Indian gardens so it was a flyer saying an invitation for Mother Earth, like a gathering for Mother Earth. Everybody was invited and it was about donation. So I decided to go and decide because they will have a speech about Mother Earth. Uh, and it was like uh, all the Earth Keepers were kind of united, you know. <clears throat> uh, and I saw this guy again and I saw the teacher i saw the guy the, the the native native american guy he was there like just standing there like when i saw him he was just like that and i was with my dog and i went barefoot it's like i don't give a f what if you look at me i'm not i didn't say hi to that person and then i saw the agent again and then when everything was over I kind of was on my way to my car and it was a handsome guy that started asking me questions like a drumming circle or something. And I saw the agent pass by, you know, a 
pass by around me and I saw him because he is kind of handsome and I like him you know it's like when you see somebody you like their energy and it's like Mimi que pasa Mimi que pasa Kiris hmm? and <clears throat> so I went to Sedona two weeks ago and I saw this guy in the gas station I was getting gas and I saw him and his wife but before that, I, you know, I do my journal, not every day, but I, I do piece of, I found this a magazine and I found the, the face of the guy, like this guy was, you know, on gardening and he was showing that he was a, you know, gardener and permaculture and all that. And I'm not going to show his picture, but it was kind of this magazine that I put him like on, on my journal and he was wearing a orange, orange jacket. So <clears throat> I found him because I found his name on Instagram and I want to follow him. You know, I want to follow his account, but his account was kind of private and I didn't send any information, but that just share the picture that I put that I that I have in this in my journal you know like I tag him right I include in the in my post uh but this time when I went to Sedona about two weeks ago or a month I don't remember but I went to Sedona and I saw the guy again with his wife in the car and I was reading the body language of the two of them. And she she knows about me. Kind of, she, they were kind of communicating uh, tele, telepathically. And I kind of catch what they were saying just for just looking at them, just watching at them, how they were acting. And I can read, you know, the body language. And she was so scared, like she, she kind of saying in her mind, like, is she looking at us? Is she, she notice us? She's looking at us in her mind. So I didn't, it didn't make, you know, until now that how can you spot an agent if the person, it won't look like one? People, you need to be really careful because people will be camouflaging. People will camouflage and they will pretend that they are wise, they are they're teachers, they are, you know, beautiful souls, enlightenment, but it's not the truth. It's not who they really are because they're working for, you know, who. They are working for the darkness, for, the, for this matrix, let's say, for this reality. They are working and they are informers. And there's 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 rich people, you know. There's Jewish community. There is Indian communities, even you know your own family. So I'm not bringing here panic or just to be concerned. You don't have to be concerned or nothing. Just just trust in God because you are protected. <clears throat> the only thing that I want you to ask you is pay attention and open your eyes because not all the people who are coming into your life, they are good people. And when I'm saying that, my body is kind of shaking, like I'm speaking the truth to you. If you want to understand what I'm saying, it's up to you. But I'm telling you right now, it's not even myself who is speaking right now. It's the force, it's my spirit that wants to tell you this message. Open your eyes, pay attention of people. What are they doing to you? How they look at you? How is their body language? How they're acting in front of you? Because that is, 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 is your responsibility to pay attention to your surroundings. Because these people are studying you. These people are watching you. How you, how you are acting with others, what do you say, what do you eat, where do you go, if you make friends, everything. They want to know everything about you. But this is just a share. I just want to share this with you guys because it's real. 
the stalking is real. It cannot just come from homeless people. Like you can see a homeless person and tell, oh my God, poor people, poor. Sometimes they're informers. They have a really nice, really nice cars, really nice houses, you know, different properties, maybe a house lake. And then you show up with a beautiful face and oh, enchanting, charming guy. It's not what is. It's not what are we seeing in this reality? Yeah. Really handsome guy. Really interesting. Long hair. Beautiful wife. Beautiful daughter. Never you thought that those people can you know being trafficking humans and getting the money out of us thank you for watching this video i love you guys